what's up everyone it's your girl brain shanae and today it's time for an unhaul i think this is going to be the final unhaul that i'll be doing for the rest of this year of 2024 um i felt like these are particularly most of the books that i've already read or i've um had copies for and i just don't need extra copies of the same book on my shelves um and i feel like unhauls they're necessary because there'll be times where you you have a book but you feel like I'm not going to reread it, right? So it's like, why do I still have it? And I know sometimes it might have a certain meaning to you that you just want to keep it. And that's completely fine. Um, but I feel like it was just time for me to do another unhaul for um, for this year. And like I said, this is going to be my final unhaul for 2024. Though I'm sure there'll be more unhauls to come. Um, but I think this is like the biggest unhaul that I've done so far this year. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first book that I'm unhauling... And I have a lot of books, y'all. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. <laughs> so you don't have to, this only be a long video. But the first book is The Girl I, I Am, Was, and Never Will Be. This is by Shannon Gibney. Um, this is a speculative memoir of transracial um, of um, transracial adoption. Um, I really enjoyed this. Um, it's been on my shelf for a while, for maybe for like a year or so. And I felt like it was about time for it to go to another home. But this is really good. I highly recommend that you pick this book up if you haven't, or definitely visit your local library and see if they have this in their catalog. So here's this one. The next book, which I really love, but I already have a copy of, and that is The Sun Bear Trials by Aiden Thomas. Like I said, I had a copy of this. So it's like, I don't need two copies. Um, so I figured like, yeah, it's time to go to a new home. So I'll be unhauling this. The next book that I, um, this is a book that I read earlier this year. Um, I really enjoyed it. I even did a book review for it, which I'll leave it up above. Um, but I felt like this is just time for it to go to a new home. And once again, like Unholes, I find very necessary because there's so many great books that I want to get to and that I want to own. And, you know, sometimes I run out of, I run out of space. <laughs> so, and I know for a fact that I cannot, I cannot get another book bookshelf and I would do I wish to have another bookshelf oh yes of course I want another bookshelf but do I need another one not necessarily um but I really enjoyed this book Troubled Waters uh by, by Mary Anais Hegler really enjoyed this book I highly recommend that you pick this up if you haven't read it yet once again I did a book review which I'll leave up above so you can check it out but I figured it's time for someone else to read this book and I promise you it's really really good the next book that I just didn't read, and I think I just don't care for this series anymore. Like, I love Queen Charlotte, which I've kept that book, of course. But like the Bridgerton series, I'm just like, mm, bah. So I had gotten this months ago and just didn't read it at all. And, you know, this is was the newest one. This is with Penelope and Colin. Um, and the series, it's okay. It's it's not bad. Um, but it's like I'm not I don't have the desire to read the books anymore. Um, for some reason, you know, because at the because the books are not like the TV series. Now let me let you know this right now if you don't know. So in this book, the cast, the, the, the characters are not diverse. So that's why I love the TV series more than I love the books because of the, the diversity of the characters and, and, you know, the main characters and stuff like that and what have you. So I just lost interest in reading the Bridgerton series. So I'm unhauling this. This is Bridgerton. This is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. This is the Pen Penelope and Colin story. The next book, Bridgerton book, is this one. I had tapped it up and everything. Um, I really like this. Is was the the very first start of Bridgerton, and I really enjoyed um, Daphne and um, oh god, I forget his name, Simon. I really enjoyed this book a lot, but I, it's like I'm thinking about it, and it's like no, I don't necessarily need it. Like I, I feel like out the whole, all this, like the whole series, like Queen Charlotte, definitely my number one. Love that one, and then I loved this one, even though there was a lot of problematic things going on with it. Um, but I really loved them as a couple. I think I mostly just loved him as an actor. Mm he's fine. But anyways, I'm like, I don't need this on my shelves anymore. Um, it's about time that I move on. But yeah, I just I like I said, I don't have any more I don't have a desire to read them anymore. Um, and so yep, yeah, so here's this one. This is the uh, Bridgerton, the Duke and I once again, this is Daphne and Simon's story. 
The next one, which I really enjoyed the show so freaking much. Um, this is Anthony's story. This is the Viscount who loved me. Um, really enjoyed. I really, like I said, once again, I can't say this enough. I really enjoyed the TV series, but the books aren't just not the same for me because they're not diverse. <laughs> so I'm having to say goodbye to these books and I'm sure somebody else will treasure them and love them just like I did. So here is this one. The next book, which I really couldn't get into this book, I was sort of bored. And that is an unpopular opinion of this particular book because it's all over TikTok. It's all over any anything book related. Um, and it was it's been, you know, people really enjoyed it. But for some reason, I could care, I could care less about this book. <laughs> like, I started reading it, I was maybe about like 30% in and I'm just like, this is boring. And it's not piquing my interest. Like I thought it would based off of people saying that this was a good book but it just wasn't for me and that is Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. Didn't like it. It's it, it's going somewhere else. <laughs> the next book that I um I read I listened to it on audio so I felt like I don't need this on my shelves um but this is Black Shield Maiden. This is Willow's uh Willow Smith's newest book that just recently came out earlier this year. Um I really enjoyed it but it's just like this is not a book that I want to own anymore if that makes sense. Um so it's time for this this beautiful book to go to another home. The next couple of books really enjoyed but just don't want them on my shelves anymore for some reason I don't know why I feel like I'm just trying to make space for books that I know I'm really going to um that I really want to get my hands on and that I know I'm really going to enjoy now mind you this series is really really good um it's just that you know I figured it's just time for them to go to a new home so we have that time I got drunk and saved a human this is by Kimberly Lemmings here's this one the next one uh the time I got drunk and yeeted a love potion at <clears throat> At a Werewolf, also by Kimberly Lemming. And then the next one is That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon by Kimberly Lemming. Once again, this series is really good, but it's just something that I just don't want to keep. And I figure like somebody else will appreciate these books more than I than I would. So here is this. Next one, really enjoy this book, but it's time for it to go to a new home. I was supposed to be here, Finding My Voice, Finding My People, Finding My Way. This is by John Jonathan Conyers. So once again, it just needs to go to another home. So there's that. Next one, I had this on my shelves and I, yeah, it's just time for it to go to a new home. Um, I already have a copy. I have a signed copy and I don't need two copies. So it's this. We have um, In the House of Transcendence by Amanda Ross. Once again, I already have a copy and it's signed by the author and I don't need two. So it's going to a new home. Next one, really didn't have an interest for this book. <laughs> um... I think I had gotten it um, from like in book mail or whatever. I wasn't expecting on getting this. Um, and I haven't read the other books by by this particular author. So it's just, I don't, I just don't have I, the will to read this. And that is The Dark, The Darkness Within Us. This is by Trisha Levenseller. Once again, haven't read anything by this author. Um, I don't know if I plan on doing so. And, and I think this is also YA, which I feel like I read YA, but not as much. I think as the years go on, and as I'm also getting older, I'm beginning to read more adult books, um, especially adult uh, fantasy, adult sci-fi, mostly adult and contemporary books. So YA is starting to trickle down and to not need not being it, it's trickling down to being non-existent in regards to the books that I read. But I do read some YA, just not as much as I used to. And I just don't have any interest in this. Next one, read this and it was okay. It's just, I feel like a lot of thrillers, there's some that are for me and then there's thrillers that aren't for me. Um, so this is going to a new home, The Last Murder at the End of the World by Stuart Turton. Um, once again, I just, it wasn't for me. So I'm sure it's going to be for somebody as it goes to a new home. The next few, these are manga. This is volumes one through five. I was thinking on collecting this whole series, but as I was borrowing the rest of the series of from my library, I realized like I'm not as in love with it as I was. Um, and so I just feel like I I don't have the desire to collect the rest of them. Um, and I just feel like somebody else will appreciate this. So we have um, volume one of Devil's Line. Here is volume uh, two. Here is volume three, volume four, 
and volume five. So these are gonna go to a new home, I'm sure, and they're in great condition, mind you. These are like brand new, pretty much. I've had these for maybe like four months now. Um, and I just feel like it's time for them to go to a new home. I just, I finished reading the series and I just feel like it's just it's something that I don't necessarily need to own. So they're gonna go to another home. Next book I already have a copy of so it, I figured it's just time to unhaul it and take it to a new home and that is Thirsty by Jazz Hammonds and I also did a book review for this particular book so if you want to know you know what my thoughts are about this book definitely check up above the link will be up there uh, so you can watch that video after you re watch this one so here's this. Next one, it's just been on my shelf collecting dust. So I figure it's time. And that is Hold You Down by Tracy Brown. So here's this one. Another one that I read, really enjoyed it. And I think someone else needs to pick this book up. And it definitely needs to go to another home. And that is An Inconvenient Cop, My Fight to Change Policing in America by Edwin Raymond. Um, this book came out um, earlier, sometime last year. Um, I feel like people should definitely look into this. This, this book is really interesting. So definitely... Uh, check your local library too. Next one is just some uh, books that I just don't really don't have a lot of interest in. Um, the, so the first one is Wolfpack. This is by Abby Wabash. Um, she is a U.S. Soccer Olympic gold medalist. So here is this one that I'm unhauling. I'm also also unhauling Mia and Friends. This is by Carlin Gray and Michelin Hess. This is like a graphic novel. So here is that. Another one that I'm unhauling is Hurdles in the Dark, My Story of Survival, Resilience, and Triumph. This is by Elvira, Elvira K. Gonzalez. Another one that I'm unhauling. Another book that, I don't know, I'm really debating if I really want to get rid of this. I'm going to put it over here, actually, because I'm not sure if I want to get rid of it or not. I've had this book for a while and I figured it's just time for it to go to another home. And that is The Library of Lost Things by Laura Taylor Namey. I've had this since I started booktube which was like six years ago and it's just like it's time to say goodbye so goodbye. <laughs> Next one really enjoyed this book already have a copy I don't need two copies um, and that is um, Changing All Star by Nan uh, Nana Kwame Adaje uh, Brinya. Hopefully I'm saying his name right if not I do apologize but yeah I already have a copy of Changing All Stars and so I figure like I don't need two so just gonna go to another home. Uh, the next one is Moth. I'm really debating if I want to. Uh, nope. It's going to be in that maybe pile. Uh, let's see. The next ones are going to be Blood Like Fate and Blood Like Magic. This is by Lizelle Sanberry. I really enjoyed these books and I just, I, I love them so dearly, but it's like, I, it's time for you to go to another home. Like if I could keep all the books that I own, I would, but it's just like, it's not possible for me. Like once again, like I want another bookshelf, but do I need it? No, I do not. Uh, and so it's like, I need to decrease some of the books that I currently own uh, and make room for some of the ones that I know that I definitely going to, you know, keep right I feel like a lot of us go through these these times where it's like okay I need to get rid of some books what books are those gonna be um and it's hard it's really like some of these books this is like oh my god I really just want to keep you but it's like I can't I like I don't have any space it's just like like literally books are piling up on the floor and whatnot and I'm like nah this is not it for me so it's just like some of these books just gotta go um but there was nothing wrong with this series. This book, these books, this series is really, really good. Um, I highly recommend that you uh, like read them. But Blood Like Magic and Blood Like Fate is really good. And these covers are beautiful. But it's time for them to go to another home. So there is that. The next one that I read um, and I really enjoyed, I already have a copy of this one. That is Madness, Race and Insanity in a Jim Crow Asylum by Antonia Hilton. Uh, really good highly recommend that you do that you read this for more information but like I said I already have a copy of this I don't need to so there's that another one is going to be sing a black girls sing a black girl song this is by um, the unpublished work of Nosaki Nazaki Shang and this is the author of colored girls who considered suicide and when the rainbow was enough um, and this was really good I read this it's just time for it to go to a new home so it's time to say goodbye. The next two books, 
I read the first book and then just lost interest in the series altogether. Uh, the first book is A Song of Wraith and Ruin uh, by Roseanne A. Brown. Really enjoyed this, but then I, I just lost interest. And so I just didn't, end, I didn't read a, a Psalm of Storms and Silence. I just don't have interest in reading them or reading this book and it's just like I don't really want to keep them anymore so I figure that somebody else will appreciate both of these so there's that the next one I already have a copy of this book um and that is there's always this year on basketball and ascension by Hanif um Adropi, which um he is all he's a local author but I like I said I don't need two copies so it's going to go to another home so there's that Another book really enjoyed. I did a book review for it, which I'll leave it up above. It's been a couple years. Um, that in, and that is in every mirror, she's black. This is by Lola Akinabe, uh, Mari, Mari Ak Akostrom, Akostrom, which, like I said, I really enjoyed this book. But once again, it's just really time for, like I said, I can't keep every single book, right? It's just, it's not, it's not possible, right? Not for me anyways. Um, but I really enjoyed this book, but it's time for me to say goodbye to it. So there's that. The next one is going to be What Moves the Dead. This is by T. King Fisher. Um, read this, loved it, but I don't need it on my shelves. <laughs> Another book, Ride or Die, A Feminist Manifesto for the Well-Being of Black Women by Shanita Hubbard. Read this, love it, but I don't need two copies, so it's got to go. So there's that. Another book that I'm getting, um, that I'm unhauling as well is going to be Hanging with Vampires. Um it's not necessarily a book I don't know what it was but it's just it just wasn't for me so it's saying goodbye to this one and let's see the next one is a rose by any other name this is by Mary McBean McMahon um and I don't know I was just not interested in reading this this book is set in England of 19 of 1591 um, it's, it says, if the mis mysterious dark lady of Shakespeare's sonnets were given a voice, what secrets would she tell? And a rose by any other name, Mary McMain un unravels one of li literature's most compelling mysteries and spins an unforgettable tale of women and witches in Elizabethan England. Um, now, I'm not really interested in this, so it's just going to say goodbye. So there is that. Um, and then, last but not least... My daughter wanted to get rid of a book and I said, you got to get rid of one because they have hella books on my kids and she chose this one. So she unhauled Jada Jones Rockstar. So this is the one she unhauled. She had this for a very long time. So she's like, yeah, it can go to someone else and it can go to a new home. And I was like, okay, so there, that's her little sacrifice right there that she made. Um, but those are all the books that I plan on unhauling. Um, this is really hard. Like, once again, this is not no easy thing for me, okay? Like, unhauling and getting rid of the books is just, it's its a difficult thing. Because it's like, if I could keep all these books, I honestly would. But I don't have the space. And just when I get new books coming in from publishers and stuff, it's just like, no. And then seeing the piles of books everywhere, it becomes overwhelming. And just, just too much for me. And I just get all, like, worked up. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what is going, what am I going to do? Like, there's not enough time in the day for me to read all these free books or just put them somewhere like I have no space right I just I no, I don't have space <laughs> but yeah <sighs> this is hard this is really hard for me to say goodbye to all these amazing books but it's time it's just time for an for an unhaul but I really hope you enjoyed this unhaul if you did please 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 give me a thumbs up also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future but once again everyone thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time Bye, everyone.